Welcome to the Interviewing Overview Tutorial sponsored by the Saginaw Valley State University Office of Career Planning and Placement. Let's begin. Earning an interview is an important step in the career search process. By being selected for an interview, the organization believes that you have the ability to do the tasks required in the description. Therefore, the interview is more about matching your personality and working style with that of the organization's culture. Here are some general rules of etiquette that should be followed during the interview process. Treat everyone as though they are a decision maker. Many organizations will seek opinions about candidates and many clerical or support staff that have interactions with you prior to the start of your interview, so make sure that you treat everyone you meet within the organization with the highest level of respect. Greet everyone you meet with a smile, introduction, and handshake. Although it may feel repetitive for you to say your name multiple times, remember that it is the first personal interaction you will have with each member of the panel, so you will want to make a good, good impression. Make sure you use a firm handshake when shaking hands. Try to connect the webbing between your thumb and pointer finger with the webbing of the interviewer's hand. Remember to look at the person's face and not watch your hand make contact with the interviewer. The handshake does need to be firm, but it is not a test of strength, so do not squeeze overly aggressive. Eye contact is crucial throughout the interview process. By looking the interviewers in the eye, you are demonstrating that you have the confidence to be a productive member of the organization. In following with old military traditions, do not sit until offered a seat. This is a sign of respect to the interview committee. Rushing in and sitting down before being invited to sit by the committee can be taken as an insult to some interviewers. Finally, maintain posture and grace throughout the interview. Sit up straight in your chair and do not slouch. Avoid using too much body movement, such as tapping your fingers on the table, shifting from side to side in your chair, or bouncing your foot on the ground. Any of these nervous habits can be extremely distracting to the interviewer. There are usually four steps to the interview process. Introduction, review of your qualifications, matching, and conclusion. During the introductory state, you will meet the interview panel. Be sure to follow the general rules of etiquette when introducing yourself. This is the part of the interview where first impressions are made. You will also begin building a rapport with the interviewer at this time. Remember, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. The review of qualifications is your opportunity to make a 30-second pitch to the interviewer. Since one of the most common first questions asked in an interview is, tell me a little bit about yourself, or why do you want this position, the interviewer is expecting an impressive answer. We recommend that you develop a 30-second pitch that will focus on your strengths and skills and demonstrates that you are a good fit for their culture in a clear and concise manner. Interviewers do not want to hear your entire life story. Instead, focus on the key events in your life that have put you in front of them, interviewing for a position within their organization. The matching phase of the interview will probably make up the longest part of the interview. During this phase, the interviewer is trying to determine the following. Will you fit in a corporate culture? Are you coachable? Do you have the passion and drive to be successful in this position? One of the key assets that most interviewers look for in a candidate is their energy level. Will you be alert and energetic in the workplace on your own? Make sure you demonstrate that you are self-motivated during the interview. Finally, the interview may explain the specifics of the job in greater detail during the matching phase. For education, this could include specific sections or courses you would be teaching. In business or science, it could include specific programs or materials. Be sure to provide examples of how you would be comfortable working within the specifics discussed during this part of the interview. During the conclusion, you will have the opportunity to ask questions. It is always a good idea to ask questions at the end of the interview because it indicates you are interested in the position. Ask questions that demonstrate you have researched the company and would like to know more information about it. You may also discuss the selection timeline and next steps of the interview process if they have not yet been disclosed by the employer. You should also collect business cards for writing thank you notes. As you leave, be sure to shake everyone's hand and thank them for their time. This concludes the interviewing overview tutorial. 
Please feel free to contact the Career Planning and Placement Office in Curtis Hall 111 at 989-964-4954 or email careers at svsu.edu if you have any questions.